Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys what the central angle theorem is, and I'll also show you guys how to prove it. First of all, we'll start off with the circle, and then I will put down the center of the circle to be right here, and I will call this to be O. And then we'll pick two points on the circle, and let me just pick this and that point. I will call this to be point A and point C. The central angle is that you just connect A to the center, and then the center to C. This right here is the central angle, okay? The smaller one, okay? It has to be less than 180 degrees, so okay, by definition. Of course, this right here is the outer piece, but you know, this right here is the usual one that we refer it to. But anyway, now we are going to pick another point on the circle, but not on this arc. Anywhere from here to here. And for my first picture, let me put down this point right here. I will call this point to be B. And then we just connect B to A and then B to C. Okay? And we have this angle that we have, right? What the central angle theorem is saying is that this angle at the center, right, it has to be twice as big as this angle right here. So for example, if today you know this right here is 20 degrees, then that means this right here has to be 2 times 20, 40 degrees. Okay, so let me write down a statement for you guys. Central angle theorem says measure of angle AOC based on my labeling. This right here has to be two times the measure of angle ABC. Okay, so this is pretty much the statement. And you might be wondering, could B be right here? Well, I will show you guys uh, later on, but let's focus on the proof on this picture first. Do not put B on this arc though, that's not good. But anyway, let's focus on this picture first. Okay, how can we do this? First of all, you have to remember that this right here is the center of the circle. And when you go from the center to the circle, this is the radius, that's also radius, so you know they are the same, right? And furthermore, we can actually connect B to the center as well. Now it's fair, A, B, C, they are all connected to the center. This right here, it's also the radius, so that means this has to be the same as that. And now by looking at the triangle on the left, this right here, triangle A, B, O, it's an isosceles triangle. And do we know how big this angle is? We don't, so we can just call this to be X. And the moment I put this down to be X, we know this angle will also to be X. Because once again, these two sides are the same. These two angles will have to be the same, right? And now, do we know what, uh, how big this angle is? We don't. So, but the thing is that we don't know if this angle is the same as that or not, right? So I will just you know, pick another variable. I will just call this to be y. Once I say this angle is y, I can also tell you this right here is y as well. By right? same reason, these two sides are the same, right? So these two angles are the same as well. Okay, now, if you look at this angle, and we have this triangle on the left, this angle, AOB, this right here, has to be 180 degrees minus X and X, right? So that's minus 2X, like that. And similarly, if you look at this angle here, angle BOC, this angle has to be 180 degrees minus y and then minus y. That's minus 2y, okay? So, that's the idea. Now, we're going to make a connection between angle AOC and this angle right here. And you see angle ABC is just x plus y. Okay, keep that in mind. But anyway, let's find out what's measure of angle AOC based on the labels that we have. As we know, this right here should add up to 360, right, in the middle right here. So we must have 360 minus this angle that we already know, and minus this angle that we also know, right? So I will have 360 minus this angle, which is 180 minus 2x, and then I will have minus 180 minus 2y, like this. And the rest is just actually just doing algebra, so we'll just do this. This right here is 360 
and then minus 180 and then minus minus becomes plus and then minus this minus 180 and then minus minus becomes plus all the good stuff 360 minus 180 minus 180 is zero they all combine it to be zero so that's good we only have 2x plus 2y left and we can factor out the 2 so I can write this down as 2 times x plus y and now what is x plus y if you look back x plus y is exactly angle a b c so we did it this right here is 2 times measure of angle a b c okay so this is just one case of the central angle theorem right so hopefully uh, you like it so far but this is not done yet because what if b is at a more bizarre place and by bizarre i mean like uh, somewhere right here for example you'll see the picture is not really it's not similar anymore but the statement is actually the same and i'll try to produce uh, the best picture possible uh, i don't know anyway so let's say this is a this is c and i still have this right here is my angle AOC, okay? And this time I will pick point B to be right here. This is slightly more bizarre, huh? Because you see now, uh, if you connect the dots A to B, and then C to B like this, we're still saying this angle will be twice as big as that angle, okay? If this is 10, that will be 20, okay? Huh. You know, this is bizarre because you cannot just uh, do that like exactly but I think if we connect the dots hopefully the dots will work out right so let's see I would still like to connect point B to the center like this and we'll start naming name things right first of all this red angle this time I will just call this to be X okay and uh, if you notice, from here to here, it's a radius. From here to here, it's a radius. So we know these two sides have to be the same, right? So these two sides have to be the same. By looking at this triangle here, angle OCB, I will just call this to be Y. Okay, I'll just call this to be Y. Now, this base angle is Y. I call this angle to be X already. So how big is this angle? It has to be y minus x, isn't it? So I will just label this. This right here is y minus x, okay? So hopefully the picture is clear so far. And now here's the beauty of all, all the geometry. This right here is the radius. This right here is also the radius. So you can look at this triangle, AOB, as an isosceles triangle. This right here is y minus x. That means this angle here also has to be y minus x, isn't it? Good, huh? Now, let's see what else can we do. Okay, so far, that's what we have. This is angle AOC right here. I want to come up with an angle right here so I can maybe do 180 minus this and that. Ah, let's take a look. This is angle x and y. How big is this angle? Well, this little angle here has to be 180 degrees minus x minus y, right? And now, by vertical angle, because this and that are vertical angles, they have to be the same. So this angle right here, it has to be 180 minus x minus y, okay? Phew. Okay, let's see if we can do anything right here. Finally, let's take a look of how big this angle is right here and you see this there is that the statement that I have right here is measure of AOC that's why I always want to come up with AOC first and that's what I did right here right AOC is based on this and that and subtract it from 360 this time AOC let me just write this down measure of angle AOC by looking at this triangle Everything add up to be 180 instead of this triangle, right, for the angles. I will start with 180 and then minus this angle, which is y minus x, and then this angle, which is minus 180 degrees 
Yeah, sometimes I say degree, sometimes I don't. Doesn't really matter, okay? So this is the expression that we have, and now we can just do some algebra, which is nice. This right here is 180 degrees minus y minus minus become plus, and then this is going to be minus 180 degrees minus minus become plus x. Understand it? That comes from y. Now, 180 negative 180 cancel each other out. Minus y plus y also say bye bye. Finally, this is equal to x plus x, that's the 2x. In the end, what is x? x is exactly angle A, B, C, because we said so. So, this is still 2 times the measure of angle A, B, C. <sighs> so good, isn't it? So, the end of proof right here. Hopefully, you guys all like this, okay? Yeah, and if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I like to make math videos for you guys. And as always, that's it.